Hello students! Today's topic is about the process of particle size distribution analysis of soil. Particle size distribution analysis, or also known as the sieve analysis, is the process of sieving the dry sample and weighing the retained samples in each sieve. The dry sieving method determines the relative portion of different sizes of particles that is necessary in classifying samples. To classify the sample, we can use the classification system using a ASIO CS and USCS. The results of this method is plotted in a semi-log graph with the grain size as abscissa plotted on a logarithmic scale and percent finer as the ordinate plotted on the arithmetic scale. The sample can also be classified according to the shape of the grain size distribution curve. The objective of this activity is to determine the particle size distribution of the soil and its classification using a ASIO CS and USCS. For this activity, these are the following required equipments. To begin the dry sieving method, first prepare the sieves. This is the list of the sieve opening needed. Stack the sieves together, arrange from the largest opening from the top and progressively smaller opening to the bottom with the pan at the bottom. Place the soil on the top sieve and cover. The sieving operation is conducted by means of lateral and vertical motions. Keep the stock upright and occasionally tap the sieves. Keep sieving continuously for 10 minutes. You can use the mechanical sieves if available. Weigh and record each soil fraction retained on each sieve. Your data should be looked like this. Sum all the weights, then calculate the percent loss by using this equation. The percent loss must be less than 2% Otherwise, the data is unsatisfactory and it must be repeated. Calculate the cumulative mass in each sieve by getting the sum of mass retained from all bigger sieves including the sieves in consideration as shown in this sample. Calculate the cumulative percent retained by dividing the cumulative mass with the total weight as shown in this sample. Calculate the percent finer for each sieve by using this equation as shown in this sample. Draw the grain size distribution curve by plotting the data on a semi-logarithmic graph with the grain size as abscissa in logarithmic scale and the percent finer as the ordinate in arithmetic scale. By using the grain size distribution curve, we can classify the sample according to the shape of the curve. It is a well-graded or non-uniform if it has a smooth curve covering a wide range of size. It is a poorly graded or uniform if it has a straight or nearly vertical portion indicating a deficiency of a certain size in that region. It is gap graded if the curve shows the combination of two or more well graded portions. You can also use a ASIO CS and USCS to classify the soil sample. The parameters needed for these classification systems are the following the effective size or particle size corresponding to 10% finer, D60 or particle size corresponding to 60% finer. D30 or particle size corresponding to 30% finer, the coefficient of uniformity, the coefficient of concavity, sieve number 4% finer, sieve number 10% finer, sieve number 40% finer, sieve number 200% finer, the liquid limit, the plastic limit, and the plasticity index. Alright!
A few minutes later. minutes later
And that's it. I hope you like the video. Subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye. Alright.